Hello everybody and welcome back to GSL English. My name is Gideon and in today's lesson we are going to be practicing our listening, pronunciation and vocabulary together. It's my pleasure to give you all a very warm welcome back to our class today. Now before we get into it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, but also using the link in the description below, you can sign up to my Patreon account for weekly podcasts and daily English content to help you improve. So how is today's lesson going to work? Well, firstly, I'm going to read a piece of text out loud. Now, you won't be able to read along. It's not going to be on the screen because we want to test your listening skills. So make sure you listen very carefully. Take notes of different pieces of information because I will be asking some questions at the end of the text. After that, we are going to break down some of the vocabulary and different expressions that are used. A lot of the expressions and vocabulary that we are going to look at are very common in British English. So you look forward to that. And then after that, we will practice our pronunciation together by shadow reading. So we've got a lot to go through in today's lesson. Let's get straight into it. I'm now going to read the text out loud. Make sure you listen really carefully. I absolutely loved the film we saw last night. It was superb. It's been a while since I've seen a film that has kept my attention like that from start to finish. I was completely captivated by the story. There were some blinding special effects and the cast selection was spot on. I'm actually going to see if I can book tickets for tomorrow night. I have to see it again. There it is. So I hope you listen carefully. I hope you took some notes. Let's get into question number one. Question number one. I want you to fill in the spaces. I absolutely, the film we saw last night, it was. So what answers did you get? Give you a few seconds. Okay, the answer was, I absolutely loved the film we saw last night. It was superb. And we're going to go through all of these words in a moment. Okay, question number two. I haven't seen a film that kept my attention like that from hmm to hmm. From hmm to hmm. What answer did you get? Give you a few seconds once again. From start to finish. Okay, question number three. I was completely by the story. What word did we use there? It was captivated. Captivated. I was completely captivated by the story. Again, we're going to go through all of this vocabulary in a moment. Okay, next question. There were some special there were some special, what words would you put in there? Okay, the answers were, there were some blinding special effects. Blinding and effects. The next question, and the cast selection was, and the cast selection was spot on. Did you get that one? Spot on. And the final question, when are we going to book tickets for? We are going to book tickets for tomorrow night. The first word we are going to look at is this, superb. This is a brilliant word, particularly when we want an alternative to describing something as good, very good, really good. We use that word good too much. This is where superb comes in. When something is superb, it's great. It is really good. It's fantastic. You know, it couldn't be any better. So superb is a fantastic alternative to saying really good or very good. And we can use it in different contexts. For example, if you've had a, a really nice day and somebody says, how was you, your day? You could say, oh, my day was superb. It was really good. It was fantastic. 
Maybe you've gone out to a restaurant for a meal and you're asked, how was your food? Oh, it was superb. It was brilliant. It was fantastic. Great alternative to good, which we use too much. And then we had this phrase, it kept my attention, kept my attention. Our minds didn't wander off throughout the film thinking about work tomorrow or what we're going to have for dinner at the weekend. You know, we were fully engrossed in the film. And if you think about it, if we keep something, we have it. We have possession. So in a different way of speaking, that film had our attention. It kept our attention. Great expression to use when we are fully involved and engrossed in a movie. We can use this to talk about many different things, perhaps um, a business presentation. It might keep our attention. You know, we are interested. Music might keep our attention. So we can use it in many different settings. Basically, that our minds didn't go somewhere else during that period of time. And then we had this brilliant word, captivated. I was captivated by the story. Really, this is a more descriptive way of saying that it kept our attention. We are captivated by the story. And if you think about it, if we capture something, we have it. We have control. That is the same. When we are captivated, that film really has control of us. We are fully captivated in the story. And again, we can use this word in different contexts. Somebody might be telling us a bit of gossip or a story. We are captivated by it. We can't look anywhere else. So that idea of being captivated, our minds are captured by whatever we are watching or listening to. And then we spoke about blinding special effects. Now, this is a particularly British word that I absolutely love. I use it all the time, blinding. When we say that something is blinding, we are saying that it is fantastic. It is amazing. In this case, the special effects, you know, the effects in the film, which really make it look amazing, were blinding. They were incredible. And again, we can use this word in, in different scenarios. For example, maybe somebody does some work at our property. They've done a blinding job. They've done a fantastic job. Maybe our um, children do some homework or they do a painting. And they've done a really good job, an amazing job. We can say, oh, that is blinding. Really nice British way of saying that something is absolutely incredible or fantastic. And then we had this expression, the cast selection was spot on. When we describe something as being spot on, we are saying that it was just right. It was a great selection. And we can use this also when somebody is perhaps expressing an opinion, we agree, we can say, you know, yeah, you're spot on. It was just right. What you have said is right. And again, it's just a great way of expressing our positive opinion, particularly in this case, that whoever chose the cast, the actors, got it right. They were spot on with their selection. But there you have it, some expressions and vocabulary used throughout that text. Now we are going to practice our pronunciation together. So I'm going to read the text again. I will pause it and I want you to repeat after me. I absolutely loved the film we saw last night. It was superb. It's been a while since I've seen a film that has kept my attention like that from start to finish. I was completely captivated by the story. There were some blinding special effects and the cast selection was spot on. I'm actually going to see if I can book tickets for tomorrow night. I have to see it again. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We practiced our listening skills. We learned some new vocabulary 
and expressions and we practiced our pronunciation together. Now, as a tip, try and think about or use the vocabulary and expressions we looked at in this video over the next week. Don't just watch this video and then completely forget about them. Try and use them over the next week. Find things that you could describe as blinding. Think of a film that you found captivating. Try and use them over the next week. If you can't use them in conversation, think about them, write about them. That is the best way to learn and use new vocabulary. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all very soon. Have a good one.